Hello Virgo, this is your November 2019 reading and remember it will not resonate with all Virgos. Some of you may be feeling left out in something in your life from somebody or something but I gotta call it more you know I haven't started really digging into or calling in the energies for your sign so I need something for Virgo. Energies coming in for a Virgo new energies and hopefully positive energies for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. See what the beginning energies are. Remember this will not resonate with all Virgos. And I always look for a positive reading, but if we don't get one for whatever reason, you know, we work through it. We always work through it, you know? Cat was up here, sure. The Magician. Virgo is going to manifest something. They have the tools and knowledge to manifest what they want with the Magician and the Upright. Page of Pentacles. Could be your energy. It is an Earth type element. Could be another Earth sign now. But the Page of Pentacles is in the Upright. Is someone who is basically young at heart, but very practical at the same time. Um, it also could be messages um, that are coming in that, that describe... Um, um, stability in your life, might maybe even finances. What's crossing it is judgment. You need to make a decision to go forward with something. Maybe you're indecisive. Maybe you got something else going on. Maybe you're just, you know, really busy. What crowns you or the goal is to come out of failure with the Seven of Pentacles or maybe to start <clears throat> something over. We do have Mercury retrograde coming up in November, and that could be possibly, um, it's about re reviewing things, restarting things, reevaluating, um, taking care of things that need to be taken care of that maybe in the past you didn't. Foundation is the King of Cups. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It also could be somebody who is... Uh, feeling real emotional right now or maybe they need somebody to talk to you could be taking on this energy but it, like i said a lot of you may be dealing with a water sign like i said their emotions may not be all there maybe they're they're over emotional maybe um you're trying to talk to them and you feel like you can't get through for some reason or maybe they're trying to talk to you and maybe they feel they can't get to you for some reason in the past, you were pretty much the hermit. Yeah, that's your card, pretty much. The hermit. It's not necessarily that the hermit doesn't go out. I mean, sometimes they don't. But a lot of times, they keep their thoughts and their feelings to themselves. They're thinking intensely upon something. In the near future, you may be thinking about taking a trip, or you may be trying to accept communications or waiting for communications that for some reason haven't come in or trips may be delayed. That also happens during the, the retrograde, usually. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. I'm thinking it's, it could be a lot like advice where the universe says, be careful what you um, take on, uh, accept as a new beginning in finances. And maybe that has to do with judgment. You know, make sure your judgment is clear. You are trying to come out of a failed situation. What is coming towards you is the emperor, someone with a lot of control. Could be an authority figure, could be even a parent. They're in the upright. For some of you, it could be an Aries. We'll clarify these, and once I start clarifying, it'll give us more information and can even change the story up. Plus, I'm going to give you a three-card three, three, three card, uh, love reading, you know. Three, three reading, three-card love love reading. <laughs> um, pos um, hopes and fears is a page of cups. You're wanting a uh, message of some sort, something that is positive of the emotional nature that will bring you good news. For some of you, you may be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. In the end, you avoid a tower. I got that for somebody else. And I shuffle these prior to even opening the video, for, even before I start the video, and I concentrate on each sign. So you may avoid a tower situation from something come crumbling down because you're thinking of something or you're being very careful about what you accept in your life. And because of that, you avoid a tower. Now let's give some more information. And a tower moment is like something suddenly changes, comes crumbling down around you. You avoid that in some way with the tower in reverse. You uh, delay that situation. So let's go back to the beginning of the Page of Pentacles. 
as uh, for Virgo, they're very practical and they're 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 thinking on something. They're they're trying to um, make a judgment call on what they need to do next over a situation that may be handed to them, an offer of some sort, or communications, like I said. So Page of Pentacles in the upright, the judgment crossing it. Why are you there? For Virgo, I need two cards, please. Two cards for Virgo. It's interesting so far. You, you're not really sure about a decision you have to make. Maybe someone's trying to push something on you. Uh, I'm thinking with the Ace of Pentacles, someone may try to offer you something and telling you it's financially secure and it's going to help you in life. I did see that Five of Pentacles earlier, didn't we? But... um. Five of Pentacles is someone that may lose out in some finances, so that's not what you're wanting to do. You, you're, you're not going to want to lose your strength. You don't think it's going to bring you wish fulfillment, whatever is going to be coming in in November. And that's a good thing that you may avoid a, a, a tower situation. Now, your goal is to uh, come out of failure. You're not going to accept failure. You're not going to be in failure. So the Seven of Pentacles in reverse while you're there. As we, we got a call, sorry. Now, what crowns you are the goal is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And you're trying to come out of failure. You don't want to be in a failed situation. So the Seven of Pentacles in reverse while you're there for Virgo as the goal. Coming out of failure. There's nothing wrong with that. It's what crowns you. You're wanting to come out of failure. And you're wanting to gain a victory. And, you, and you're going to people that you can rely on, that you could trust to come out of failure. You're not going to go towards people that bring you into failure. Even though I think someone's going to try to make you an offer, you're going to recognize it as not good for you. Because what you got there, coming out of failure with, you got the Hierophant and the Upright and a victory. So you're going for victory. You're going for the things that um, bring you stability. But like I said, someone may try to offer you something that you may reject. You may think it'll take your strength away. You may think it's not going to bring you wish fulfillment. It could be very well a water sign or someone who is of the emotional nature. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It's the King of Cups. This is the foundation. Why are you there for Virgo in November? Why are you there as a foundation? Two cards. Oh, yeah, they're going to be wanting to argue and fight with you. and But you're not going to want to accept what they have to offer with the Seven of Cups in reverse. You may reject what they have to offer because you consider it confusing. And for some of you, you know, this, re this reading can flip. It could be the people that you're dealing with. This could be their reading. But I'm reading for Virgo. And... Um, the main energy is Virgo. So the King of Cups is in reverse. They're arguing. They're fighting because you may not accept what they have to offer, a confusing offer. Now, in the past, you're the hermit. You're keeping to yourself. You're minding your own business, you know? So the hermit in the upright, in the past position for Virgo, why are you there? Why are you there? Two cards, please. Queen of Swords, King of Wands. This tells me that you're there, but a lot of people are around you or wanting to get in contact with you or talk with you. Maybe you're contemplating about them. Could be uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're both in the upright. Maybe you're thinking towards them and not the water energy. You're thinking about towards the people like like a queen of swords is a very intelligent person. The king of wands is a very passionate person. They're both very mature. Very, very intelligent people that you're dealing with. That you're kind of keeping to yourself with. Or keeping your... You're keeping your... um The people you're dealing with small. You know, your circle small. For some of you. And, and what you're um, confining in. You may... Like I said, confine, confine your thoughts to very few people and keep to yourself mostly or your thoughts mostly to yourself. And like I said, a very few people. In the near future, someone may send you messages or um, travel may get upset with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Messages may be upset. And I do see someone getting angry because you won't accept an offer because you're trying to avoid a tower and you do. So the Eight of Wands in reverse in the very near future. For Virgo in November, why are you there? Two cards, please. Two cards, please. Yeah, you're not even going to accept it. You're going to 
tell them what you think. You're going to tell them you do not think it's going to bring you anything good with justice in the upright. You're, you're right in telling this person this, that you're going to reject whatever they have to offer. You're not going to do, um, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. You're not going to help this situation. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Hopefully you can see all this because I need room for your love reading at the end. But you got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Could be the universe telling you to reject this offer. And by rejecting this um, new, supposedly new stable offer, um, you avoid a tower because it's not really good. This offer that's being offered to you, even though it's a new offer, it's not a good offer. Not this one. You do have other things coming in that you're going for. You're going for victories. But this isn't the one that you're... The one you're going to turn down isn't the one. It's going to have to do with a very... Um, dealing with someone who's very emotional, like I said. So Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? For Virgo. As a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Could have to do with a lover situation. And the King of Swords. The King of Swords, again, could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but they're in the upright. Maybe they just could be involved. Maybe they're telling you not to accept this. Maybe you, you go to this person for advice, because usually when the King of Swords is there and in the upright, they give really good advice. They're straight to the point. Could have to do with a lover situation. For some of you, you could be dealing with more than just one person also. What is coming towards you is the Emperor. This could be an Aries. Or like I said, someone in control, someone in authority, someone who likes to take control, and they're in the upright. Right. So maybe they usually, you know, have good decisions themselves, you know, pass judgment in a positive way. For some of you, you may be doing some type of uh, legal action because I see the justice and the emperor there and I saw judgment over there. So possible court action for a few of you. Maybe some of you may threaten someone for court or you may turn down a contract, you know, has the legal papers. But the emperor is in the upright and they're coming towards you. And there, or the outside environment what is basically involving all this. So the Emperor and the Upright, I need two cards for why you're there. Two cards, please, for the Emperor. Hmm. Got the Seven of Swords. This person is going to help you break free from something. They're going to give you two options to choose from. So maybe this person you go to for advice also, or they're the ones that, yeah, you could be going to them for advice, and they may say, keep your options open, keep on going with whatever you're doing in your own life and what you need to keep busy and break free from um, deceptive situations with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Don't go for deceptive things. Go for things that you know are stable with the Two of Pentacles. Um, change your situation up, but change it to the positive. Don't accept anything that is not you know straight up you know not not sketchy you know your hopes and fears you're wanting messages that are positive and loving and that are are, are, are you know the one the things that you're wanting so the page of cups is there and also could be dealing with like i said a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio and these are your hopes and fears maybe you're hoping for this type of energy so i need two more cards for the page of cups why are you there and the hopes and fears for Virgo. Yeah, you're not going to jump into anything that is not 100% with the full card in reverse. You're not going to just haphazardly take on something. Even though you're wanting good messages, and you will get good messages, but you'll get some negative ones too. You also, your fear could be that the Queen of Wands, maybe situations will get turned around and people will lose their tempers. They'll take things personally if you don't jump into something. You're afraid of that with the Queen of Wands in reverse next to the Fool card. But in the end, you do avoid a tower, something from crumbling down. And you make the right decision in the end for whatever you're going to do. The decision you're going to be making in November is 100% in your favor. You do, you, you are right in making the decision that you're doing. Because you, it, makes you, it helps you to avoid a negative situation. So the tower in reverse. I need two cards for Virgo. Why is it there? Why is the tower in reverse there? Give us more information for Virgo. Two cards, please. Yeah, you're getting on top of it. You may get defensive, but you're definitely turning something down with the four cups in reverse. So you save yourself. 
you're a wise person. I see a very wise person. Whatever you're thinking about intensely about and rejecting, when an offer is being brought to you, and they may say, this is an opportunity, a lifetime, you're going to say, I don't think so. Uh, you're going to be asking people about it, and they're going to tell you the same thing, that it's just confusing, it'll just cause arguments and fighting if you accept it. For some of you, you have to deal with, a, you may be dealing with a lover situation, but I also had it has to, a lot to do with your financial situation also combined. In the end, you do possibly with the Ace of Swords cut something out, go forward with something, and state your truth in the upright. So this is just telling me that uh, Virgo is definitely avoiding something from crumbling down around them, and that's a good thing. So just stay on this path, do as you do as you're you're intending to the whole time, you know. Now I'm going to do a three card. Three pile reading. You pick the one you want, or maybe they all will relate, but pick which one you want, the section you want. I need three cards for Virgo for the first section for love and relationships from the angel cards, from the love angel cards. I need three cards for Virgo for November. Sun, moon, rising for Virgo. Three cards, please. I need another pile, second one, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for November, Love of Relationships from the Angel Cards. Three more cards, please. It may relate to this reading or may give me a totally different reading. And sometimes all three cards just kind of combine together for some reason. I don't know why it does that. But you can choose one or you can choose all three. Can I get another pile, three cards? For Virgo in November. Let's get this over here. First pile says separation may have occurred. You may very well turn something down. Maybe this one is like that. Um, you may separate yourself from something because of your career. You're, you're, you're more concerned about your finances. I'm trying to get this ring light out of the way. I need it for um, to brighten things up also. But it says, you know, separate yourself and go for your financial career. Go get your money. Get to know the person real well first before you take on something with them, you know. Because this is a separation. Get that out of the way. Separation, finances and career, and get to know the person first. So if you're dealing with somebody and you're thinking they're a little sketchy or you think you're going to cost you, it may very well take it slow. I'm not saying you should get rid of somebody. I'm saying, saying take it slow because you need to uh, focus on your money and finances, okay? Let's get this. Now, trust. Let me see. We did it this way. So it's actually this one first, second, and third. Keep an open mind, express your love, and trust the person that you will meet. Or the people, maybe people that you, that are giving you good advice. But it, I don't think it has a lot to do with the person that's messing you over. But even though I do think a lot of Virgos are dealing with more than one person. It says, keep an open mind, express your love, and trust in a situation. I don't think, you know, you're, I'm not thinking it's this thing. Because it's saying you avoid a tower. But I do see you having other people around you that maybe you should trust them. And maybe one of them, because I see lo the lover's card here, you know, vice. And maybe one of them is a type of air sign or someone who's straightforward. And they're trying to tell you not to accept this offer. Because I see the Ace of Pentacles, the lovers, and the King of Swords. They're all together. The Ace of Pentacles, like I said, is in reverse. And, and, it, and these two are clarifying, saying... Um, you may not want to trust this offer it's coming to you, you know. Maybe you need to trust what the King of Swords says, you know, and not what somebody else is going to offer you. And maybe keep an open mind when they say this to you, that um, that when they tell you what you need to know, and it could be a lover's very well, that um, listen to them. They may be leading you to the right direction. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice. Let's go this way. The third one, if you pick this, you got a soulmate situation that you're passionate about and you may lead to an engagement. So some of you will be meeting a soulmate in November that you'll be very passionate about and it may eventually lead to an engagement. 
So this is just for love. It doesn't necessarily have to go with this energy. This energy is telling is tell me that Virgo avoids a financial disaster by ne not accepting an offer. And it could very well to do with love also. Because, you know, sometimes love can bring catastrophe when it comes to money, you know. But I do think that... Um, a lot of Virgos will eventually meet somebody. Sometimes someone from the past, like I said, comes back during the retrograde. But also, you do meet new people. But I think it's mostly if you're going to meet somebody and it's going to be like a soulmate and be there for you the rest of your lives, I'm thinking a lot of Virgos will meet them at the very end of November. Okay? But you do avoid a financial disaster, and that's, you know, good for you. You know, you did what you had to do. It's, it's a good thing. And you do cut something out that is not going to bring you prosperity. So that is your reading, and I will let this go. And, oops, we ain't got it all in there, do we? Just trying to leave more room. And I will let this go, and I will talk to you later. Okay, Virgo? Bye.